Well, good morning, Harvest. Pastor Matt here. Uh, today, I wanted to give you my first thoughts on walks. Uh, what is thoughts on walks? Well, first of all, it's not a title unique to me. But second of all, it's just where I get out uh, in my neighborhood. If you're anything like me, uh, you've probably been cramped up in your house for a while and uh, going a little stir crazy. And um, so I just get out and I share some encouraging thoughts uh, that I hope will be a source of refreshment for you. Um, the first thing I want to share with you is the gospel can't be stopped. Um, you know, this last Sunday when we were closing out the book of Colossians, one of the key things that we shared is the good news of Jesus Christ and his rescuing us from the penalty of our sins. That message cannot be stopped. And I'm reminded of the early church uh, in the early 60 to 70 AD when the church was under intense persecution and Nero became emperor. Um, if you know, during that time, uh, Nero actually framed Christians uh, for the destruction, or at least part of the destruction, of the Roman Empire. And as a result, a persecution broke out that they had never experienced before. Now, Nero's efforts was to squash Christianity, but it actually had the opposite effect. It actually caused it to explode. Uh, the gospel advanced all over the world, and churches erupted everywhere as a result of persecution. Now, I say all of that to say this, hey, we're in the middle of a pandemic and we might feel like, hey, this is going to squash, this is going to squelch, this is going to hinder the advance of the gospel, but the reality is it can't. And here's the proof. I got five, six, seven, I can't remember, I lost count, um, stories, testimonies, texts, emails, phone calls of people who shared our message online with other people who would never go to a church. Uh, maybe they were far from God, maybe they had wandered from the Lord, maybe they were unsaved, but you shared that message with them and they actually were encouraged by it. And who knows how God is going to use all of this, but I do believe that in the midst of this pandemic, God is softening the hearts of unbelievers who would never darken the doors of a church, but maybe right now are softened uh, to the message of the gospel. So I want to encourage you, continue to share your faith. Continue to love with reckless abandon those who need you. Um, continue to share the good hope of Jesus Christ. That's what the world is looking for right now is hope. So church, I hope that's an encouragement to you this morning. It is encouragement to me. I want to let you know that we're praying for you. And until we meet again face to face, you're loved.